everybody, it's Christopher Not Walking. Welcome to the Dirty Nerdy Show. And today we have one of my favorite people in all of ASMR. Not even just because of her content, just because of how funny she is. Like, she's a genuinely funny person. Uh, Wendy Whispers ASMR is here, you guys. Hey, everybody. It's Wendy Whispers ASMR, and I'm here on the Dirty Nerdy Show. Did I just steal your thing? You, you oh, totally I'm did. I'm sorry. And it, thanks for having me, though. I, I mean, it's cool. It, it's <laughs> cool. <laughs> now I'm super pumped to be here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I'm, I'm super pumped to have you here because you are so funny. And <laughs> I love your tweets. And like, oh, man, like you make me laugh like on a daily basis. And I was I was talking to some friends in the Dirty Nerdy Discord the other day. And I was like, why is she not here? Like we all collectively said this. Like, why is she not here? <laughs> I'm bad at Discord. <laughs> and then, and then we were like, "No, we gotta, we gotta fix this." So, uh, I, I shot you a link to the Discord, and I was like, "Come be a part of the fam." Yeah, and now I'm super excited because it's like I feel like being on the Dirty Nerdy Show is like a rite of passage in the ASMR world. Like, Aww. like I've made it. I've made it. I was asked on the show. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about that. I'm sure <laughs> nah. there are other shows that are, like, way more awesome to be on. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Not in the ASMR world. Okay, would you rather be on the Dirty Nerdy Show or do, like, a collab with Heather Feather? Hmm. I mean, Heather Feather, she's pretty legit. She was, like, my first... ASMR love, so I, I will have to go with, with Heather on this one, but you know, is she, you guys are close second. <laughs> is she ASMR senpai? Yeah, kinda. kinda. Yeah. I feel like she's most people's. Her and Maria. <laughs> yeah, it's always like a battle between like her and yeah. Maria. It's like, yeah. who's your favorite? And like, Heather <laughs> and Maria or Heather. Or Heather, yeah. yeah. I love them both, but... I think Heather, Heather is the one that I probably listen to the most out of, like, all the kind of OG artists. What do, you, what do you like about Heather Feather? I don't know. Her voice is just great. Like, and, you know, she's the, the pioneer of the whole SK, SK. Well, her mom is, but, you know, and that's, yeah. like, one of my favorite triggers. <laughs> she, like, totally ripped off her mom. I know, right? <laughs> and made it a thing for the entire oh, community. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is how powerful Heather Feather is. I was talking to GB the other night, right? Mm -hmm. And it was kind of late already. And she goes, if I stop responding, it's because I'm listening to Heather Feather. And yeah. I'm knocked out. And <laughs> I go, wow, even the great even the great GB is, is, is still... Not strong enough to like be like, no, I can handle this. <laughs> no more. Yeah, now Heather Feather, she'll put you to sleep. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> She's a wizard. But you're a wizard too. You're really Thank good. You. <laughs> Thank you. I try. I try. <laughs> what made you what made you want to start doing this? Well, you know, I listen to ASMR all the time. Even before I knew what ASMR was like I've always been like a tingle junkie so you know once I kind of figured out what it was and really started to follow more people in the community I just I don't know I wanted to try it out for myself and actually I started my channel like it was just three years ago um, but I only did like two videos and then I stopped until basically this last summer where I decided to start it back up again what, what what videos did you do? Uh, when I first started out, and they're still on my channel, I did, the first one was like flipping through a comic book, and... Do you remember the comic? Uh, I don't. I don't. I forget. Maybe it was Buffy, Vampire Slayer. I really Ooh. forget. <laughs> but it's on my channel. And then the second one was like a journal collection. Wow. Fancy, fancy, smanchy. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of journals, do you write your ideas down in journals? 
for, for videos? No, not really. Sometimes I'll type up like a list of ideas I have on my computer, but usually I just kind of wing it. I just go with whatever I'm feeling on that day, you know? Like I have some ideas for role plays and stuff in my head, but I don't usually plan too much. You're such a hippie. You're like, I just want to feel <laughs> like, it. Be organic. Just yeah. let me feel it, you guys. <laughs> just let me feel it. Go with the flow. <laughs> it's all groovy. So, um, you have some radio experience, and uh, you want to talk a little bit about that? Because, holy crap, I am not the only host right here, right now. Yeah, yeah. So I did the uh, my college radio station. I was a DJ my senior year, and I wish I'd gotten into it sooner because it was really fun, but... Um, I did that my senior year, and um, also during my senior year, I interned for, like, my local radio station, like, in the summertime before senior year, Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, I don't know. It takes a lot to get into radio. Like, I don't know. I I feel for the people who do it as a living, because it's a lot harder than you think, you know? It's not that hard, fam. My grandmother's been in radio for about 30 years. (laughs) Well, yeah, because she's probably a natural at it. Like, not everyone can do it. You know, you got to think up topics. You got to be charismatic. Like, I don't know. It's not It's not just talking into a mic. But you know that. No, I know. <laughs> yeah. From back when I did the freak stream. I know. I know. I know. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's way more than that. You've got to, like, have your bumper set. Well, now it's a little oh, easier. Yeah. But because because now you've got like your little like things and you can like organize stuff and everything is right. like, set to like autoplay. Yeah, yeah. But back back in those old times, man, holy crap, it was. Ah, you gotta queue it up. Make sure your levels are all good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what was your favorite video to do so far? Ooh, that's tough. I really liked um, the role plays that I've done actually and I've only done a few of them but honestly I found them really fun and I never thought when I started my channel that I would do role plays but (laughs) I decided to when I did I did like a 13 days of Halloween series and I did three role plays during that and then I did another one for Valentine's Day and I don't know I did acting in high school so I think role plays just kind of brought me back to that so, I don't know. I'm really proud of all my role plays. I have a playlist on my channel. Anyone's interested in watching them. <laughs> yeah, go watch them and subscribe to her. I do some pretty uh, interesting accents that aren't all that accurate, but, you yeah, know, I mean, whatever. Let's hear a few of them right now. Oh, no. <laughs> Should I do a southern one? Is that offensive to you? It's not offensive to me, but it might be offensive <laughs> to somebody, but go ahead and do oh, it. Uh, I, yeah, that's about it. My accents, yeah, I, I got to work on them, you know, for future role plays. I heard we'll you do a Boston one yesterday. It was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. The Boston one, it's a little easier, but because my family, some of my family's from Boston, so I grew up around them. Like, when I was a little kid, I'd be like, oh, that's wicked, wicked cool, wicked awesome, wicked awesome, like. (laughs) So, we do have some fan questions, and we will get to those very soon. But, um, what are some of your plans for the channel for later? Definitely more role plays. I have, like I said, I have a couple planned out, um, and, you know, just more eating videos, um, and just more general kind of trigger assortment type things, because I like experimenting with different things and seeing what works. Um, like I did a water shaking and lid tapping video recently, and a lot oh, of people yeah. commented. Yeah, a lot of people commented that they really liked the sounds that the lid made. So I just made another video like with just the lid sounds. So I like experimenting with different things and, you know, getting people's feedback on what they like and what they want to see more of. So did the video make them flip their lids? It did. <laughs> that was such a crap pun. 
It was. It was. And I forgive you now. So bad. <laughs> we're keeping it in. We're not. We're not. We're not yeah, cutting that yeah. out. I'm sorry. All right. It's, cool. Hey. Yeah. Own it. Own I'm, it. I'm gonna own that one. Um. Okay. One of my favorite videos that you did was the air tracing and and face drawing. Yeah. 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 I love like those kinds of videos and. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I'm big into, like, ear-to-ear -ear whispering, but visual triggers, and as far as visual triggers go, like, air tracing is my favorite. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, like, I'll go back to Softly Galoshes. She has her, her one where she does, like, the Jigglypuff song. First of all, <laughs> I just love that because it's just so funny, and I really like, like, ASMR, like, whisper singing. And then she does, like, face drawing in that and it just gets me every time and like grape seed asmr she's another one she has a few um like face drawing and air tracing videos and she's super good at it so y'all should check her out if you haven't already yeah check her out <laughs> and go check out rebecca too she's dope so we have some fan questions, and I don't know how ready you are for this because it, it's I'm a little crazy. I'm super ready. I'm super ready. Bring it. Bring <clears throat> it. The first question is the most important question you will ever be asked in the history of ever. And it is from our friend, the GIF master, Daniel, and he would like to know, do you like cartoons? I do. I do. Cartoons are great. Like... I don't think I'll ever stop watching cartoons. <laughs> What's your favorite cartoon that you watch? Oh man, that's that's so hard. But I think Bob's Burgers is probably my favorite. That show is just <laughs> magical. <laughs> Bob's Burgers is amazing. Okay, like it's we, we so have great. This, we have this thing where we call GB Linda. Yes. <laughs> So like every yeah. time I comment on like her videos, it's like Linda, and like people are starting to think that her name is Linda. That's her name. <laughs> it's not, but <laughs> we're going. With it. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, Linda's great. I was her for a Halloween party one year, and then I love Louise though. She's just everything I want to be. Really, I mean, she's just great. She's great. <laughs> uh, I like the other show that the guy does, uh, Archer. Yeah, yeah. Archer's good, too. And I watched Bob's Burgers before I watched Archer, so it was really weird for me to hear, like, Bob's voice as Archer, because they're just completely <laughs> different characters. Yeah, it was the opposite for me, too. Like, yeah, yeah. A lot of people are so tripped out. And then they did the, the crossover episode, which was pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, I, I love cartoons. <laughs> Elephant in the room, Elefante. Elefante. Would like to know how many tattoos do you have, where, and what are they? All right. So I only have two right now, but I want more. I just have to save up money. But um, the first one I have is a phoenix on my back, and I got that for myself as a graduation present from college. Um so that one is pretty big, and it was, like, my first tattoo, but I love it. Um, and then the second one, I have a picture on my Twitter, and it's um, Valar Margulis from Game of Thrones slash Song of Ice and Fire um, series, and it's on my ribs. Do you like the Game of Thrones? No, I hate it. That's why I got a Game of Thrones tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. I... I haven't watched all of the show, to be honest, but the books are just, like, my all-time favorite. Like, they're just so good. <laughs> yeah, boy. Deal with it. She likes yeah. Game of Thrones, but she likes the books more. I like the books more, guys. Sorry. Not sorry. I'd tap that ASMR, whose birthday is today as of this Yay! recording. Happy birthday. Happy You're birthday, old. Scott. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scott is um, old. Scott is so old. <laughs> but that's okay. We could just turn it his hearing aid while he's It's cool, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he won't know that we're talking shit. Um, his question is, what's your favorite burrito place? 
Will <sighs> we ever get a burrito slash ASMR video? Burrito <laughs> tapping is a big trigger <laughs> for me. Okay, first of all, Scott, you're ridiculous. But uh, my favorite burrito place, it's a local place that we have in my city. And they're really legit. But I also like Chipotle. And we do have a Chipotle in my city as well. So I'll go there sometime. You... Hold on, question. <laughs> yeah. How do you have a legit burrito place? You live in a, in a place I know. full of white people. I, I, I know. I know. It's fairly legit. It's like white people legit. You know, it's not like legit legit, but it's white people legit. So it's probably the best I'm going to do. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I mean, my favorite, favorite place to go. I actually don't get burritos there. I get chimichangas because deep fried. Uh, But that's in a different state. It's like the next state over, which is way less of a white people state. So it's like an actual legit place Good. but you know so i mean i got a few i got a few burrito places you know because i'm a fan and yes i will do a burrito video i will i'll tap on a burrito sure and i will well, make whatever. all of the inappropriate comments i know you and like everybody else <laughs> but i will i will make the ones that get favorited and pinned yeah. to the top yeah pinned to the top yeah yeah <laughs> so uh, don't worry about it scott like i got you I got you, fam. Uh, she got burrito options, is what she's saying. Scott. I do, I do. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, night shift ASMR would like to know how did you come up with your name? <laughs> uh, you know what? So back three years ago, when I decided eh, I'm gonna make a channel, I was just trying to come up with like things that sounded relaxing to me I was like the wind can be relaxing like not when it's like a huge storm rattling your windows but like I feel like a gentle kind of gentle wind is relaxing so nobody else had the name so I picked it (laughs) did you ever think of changing it yeah sometimes but then I was like, eh, I don't really know what I changed it to. So I just kept it. And now people kind of know me as it. So, you know. But a lot of people think my name is Wendy. But it, it, it's not. It's Becky. All right. Joss Silver would like to know. First, ASMR discovery slash experience. All right. So um, <laughs> this is where my, like, nerdiness comes through here. But... I don't know if y'all know what squishies are. They're like stress balls, but they're in like way cuter shapes. They're from Japan and they're like way softer. And I, no, I'm super not. But like I used to be big into crafting and a lot of crafters were also really into squishies. I don't know why, just because they're cute. And so like I bought them and they're just super fun to play with. And I used to watch those videos a lot, and they would give me ASMR, just like, I think it was like visual and then like the crinkles, but at the time I didn't know what ASMR was. So I was searching for like videos of like people, you know, like squishy hauls and stuff, and one of them, it was like a haul, and it had ASMR in the title. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really think about it, I was just like, I don't know what that is, maybe it's a store or whatever. Then I noticed like she was whispering, and she mentioned something about like, you know, I'm whispering because ASMR. And I was like, huh. So I Googled it, and I was like, whoa, that's that's that thing that I've, like, experienced and, you know, never really talked about with anyone because, like, you know, I think you're always kind of like, I don't know if this is just me or, like, if other people (laughs) get this. So that was my first experience. And I don't remember the channel name. I don't think she makes videos anymore, but that was kind of how I discovered ASMR. Aw, that's so sweet. Yeah. (laughs) Articulate design, a.k.a. hashtag the other half of (laughs) Team Chat. (laughs) Which, by the way, before I ask this question, I'm going to ask you a question right now. Are you Uh -uh. you Team Don't ask me what team I'm on. I I cannot disclose that in chat. I cannot disclose that information. No comment. Team chat, right? I plead the fifth. That is just, I, I'm offended I right now. 
I plead the fifth. I, I interview this girl, and she, she can't even be on team chat. Okay, but like Katie's the editor, so she's got she's got the power to make me look bad, right? I love you, Katie. I, I, I love you. Okay, <laughs> don't make me look bad. <laughs> She'll like turn you into like a man voice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, Articulate Design would like to know when. And will you make more eating videos? They are amazing with a thousand G's. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll make an eating video soon. Um, I started off like when I started in the summer, like all I did was eating videos because it was before I got my mic. And I was like, oh, you know, a lot of eating videos are lo-fi and I like them. So, but since I got my Yeti, I've been like experimenting with different triggers more. So I've been kind of caught up in that, but I'll definitely... Definitely do another eating video soon. What, what, are you, what kind of eating video are you going to do? Is it going to be a burrito? It might be. I mean, because that'll kill two birds with one stone, you know? So. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> burrito tapping. And eating. <laughs> ASMR. You could do anything and slap ASMR in front of it, and, like, people right? will like it. Yeah. ASMR dusting. <laughs> That'd be dope. Uh, anyways, yeah. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Thank you for allowing me to have you. <laughs> you want to keep this going? No, no. I feel like it might get, like, awkward. Uh. All right. Well, uh, anyways, uh, bye, guys. No way, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you so much for coming on to the show. Uh, we, we really appreciate you. And we look forward to seeing what you do in the future because, holy crap, you're amazing. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, yeah. Uh, guys, make sure you subscribe to, to Wendy Whispers ASMR. Um, and, and show her love. And, and, and become one of her patrons. Yay! <laughs> and after you become one of her patrons, become one of our patrons. Yes. Because, because did you know that for one dollar a month, you can get early access to our videos right here on the Dirty Nerdy Show? Interviews, backstage stuff, extras, vlogs, all sorts of things for one dollar. Wow. How crazy That's is that? Cool. That's, That's pretty insane. Cool. That's a deal. That's that a is, bargain. That is... <laughs> A deal right there and you should all like listen to it uh, but yeah. yeah if you like this video go ahead hit that like button and if you want to hit the subscribe button we like having subscribers we like seeing that number goes up it makes us really happy we want to get to 1k remember at 1k I will tell the steel rod story on air a lot of you who've <laughs> been on the show a lot of my friends you know this story already but uh, it's the a good public, story the public does not and once we hit 1K, I will tell that story on air. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And why don't you become a member of our notification squad? You know, hit the little bell. You find out as soon as our stuff comes up and you're like, oh my God, there it is. And and then we're <laughs> like, yay. And then like, you know, y y you become our first comment. And then we're like, hey. And we always try to respond to everybody and, and show everyone love and all of that good stuff. But yeah, uh, my name is Christopher Not Walkin. That was Wendy Whispers, ASMR. Uh, this was the Dirty Nerdy Show. And we will see you next time. Bye.